name's Pete Donner. I am a Lego model design manager in the Lego model shop located in Enfield, Connecticut, and I've been doing this for 21 years. I am the lead model designer on the astronaut model that we did to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo mission to the moon. The most interesting part of this model is the way it's posed. Uh, the photo that we're recreating is taking place in space, so there's a sense of weightlessness in how the character is in the image. So trying to recreate that physically in a static model is a bit of a challenge, but uh, one that I found really fun to undertake. So the design process for a life-size model like the astronaut here uh, usually begins on paper, but since we're recreating a historic photograph, we started in a 3D package, similar to what an animation studio would use to make the movies we like to go see in cinema. Uh, from there, we'll pose it and transition to a piece of software called Brick Builder, which we've actually developed internally within the LEGO group. That's where we'll go through and actually refine it and get all the details and edging and all that correct. Once we have that finalized, it goes into a piece of the Brick Builder software called the Building Instructions, and that's where the build team will take those files and recreate the model physically. After NASA approved the idea, we go into the you know, high-level design where we get the details right, we make sure the suit is the right suit and it's matching what they want it to do, and we have a little bit of a sparring session back and forth between the design team here, myself, and designers within NASA. So this model is full of all kinds of really fun details. One that really stands out for me is if you look at the astronaut's boots, they're covered in moon dust. And uh, to do that, we did what's called dithering, which is taking a few different colors and kind of pushing them up and fading it to the primary color of the suit, which is white. Some of the other details that this model has is he has an air regulator pack on the front. He also has little hose connectors. Those were a real challenge because they're circles and Lego by its nature wants to be square. So that was a fun challenge to try to recreate. One other really nice detail in this model is it has a recreation of the reflection that you can see in the photograph. And that was a bit of a challenge. It's not something we do a lot. It was a fun undertaking that I think really paid off in the end. The challenges that I found most difficult were again, getting a posture that read as though it was weightless. Also blending hand designed or you know, say the air pack on his front isn't the same design method as the rest of the model. So making those two things work together was a bit of a challenge. In the model shop, we tend to use two different design styles when creating, say, a lifelike human being or something of that scale. The first one is just taking basic bricks and stacking them and arranging them in a way that you create the shape. So if you're trying to do a ball, you would do radiating rings that'll go around a 3D shape and that's how you get a ball. We also use what's called hand design, and that's where you'll take the specialty elements that you see in the sets you can buy in store. So roof bricks, we call them, or bow bricks, and you'll use those to create very intentional shapes, say if you're trying to make a true circle, which you can actually see on the astronaut's hose connectors on his chest. So one thing about designing a model like this, especially something from history, something so entrenched in who we are as a country, so for me, this is an awesome experience. And to potentially inspire the next generation of astronaut that'll take us to Mars or beyond is fantastic.